Today I want to talk to you about five easy ways to sell slow-moving inventory or inventory that's just not selling at all, stagnant inventory, inventory that's just sitting in an Amazon warehouse collecting dust and not making you money, actually costing you money because of the storage fees that Amazon charges us every month. I'm going to jump right right to it right to how how to do this cuz it's there's there's five easy ways number 1 is to adjust your price adjust your price and of course there's two ways you can adjust your price most people assume adjust your price lower which might be a good thing to do sometimes you know you sent this item in it's not selling because the prices that that were competitive when you first listed it we're a certain level and then now they're at a, another level. So as always, check Camel, Camel, Camel or Keepa to see if you could potentially expect higher inventory or a higher return on investment in the future. But if not, you might want to lower your price. The other way to adjust the inventory prices is to raise them. It's it, I don't know how this is, but it's a little trick in, and trust me on this, I've seen this in my own business, I've heard of other people doing this, just by adjusting your price by one penny, raising it by one penny, will have, that for some reason, Amazon will, will help that item get to the buy box a little bit more, and it could sell. I, I don't know what it is. I can have an item that's just been sitting in an Amazon warehouse for months, not selling, I can actually increase the price by a penny, and for some reason, it sells. And now that's not a guarantee for every single item. I would say maybe, you know, if I did this on 100 items, maybe two or three would sell. And But I'm like, hey, that's pretty awesome. Maybe sometimes it's just one or two. But just looking at your item, just touching your item electronically, if that makes any sense, raising the price by one penny can get something that's slow moving to sell. So Number one was adjusting the price. You can either lower the price, become more competitive, or just changing the price, tweaking it a little bit, gives a little boost for a percentage of the buy box time. Number two is to check out the sales page and see how well the product page is, you know, how well it looks. I mean, sometimes the image could be horrible, the title could be horrible, the keywords might be bad, the description might be bad. I mean, um, there, I, I had a, a puzzle that was a Super Mario Brothers puzzle, and the title of the of the of the puzzle of that inventory item was just Mario Puzzle. It didn't say Super Mario Brothers Puzzle, 250 pieces, glossy, um, you know, uh, super, and it was a Mario Kart from a particular game. It had so many different keywords that it was missing. It just said Mario Puzzle. Well, that's not going to come up in the searches. That's not going to come up when people are looking for it. So I went in, uh, suggested an update to the title, and it was accepted. And boom, it sold because it was able to be improved. So the second thing to look at is just checking the sales page. The title, description, the keywords, the photo. Sometimes there's photos that it's, there's blurry. or I've seen a, a photo of somebody selling something, and they're like holding a picture. Like it's just a picture of the thing in their hand. They're trying to sell a baseball, and it's... Your, the baseball is in their hand in the picture. And I'm like, no, 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 it's supposed to be just a, a picture of just the item that you're selling on a clear white background. So check that. If you're wanting to learn more about how to improve product listings, I highly recommend Karen Thaxton's book, Amazon Advantage. You can find it at fulltimefba.com forward slash Amazon Advantage. And she gives you all the tips and tricks on how to make sure that your title, your keywords, your descriptions, all the bullet points, all of those are perfect in a way that brings more customers to your item. It's really good. So that's number two, looking at the product page. Number three, think about advertising, doing some pay-per-click ads or sponsored advertising for these items. Uh, this is also really good if you've tried to add an item to Amazon's inventory and you're not getting any sales, you might be able to get the ball rolling by doing some pay-per-click ads. So look into that, you can spend a few cents per click and the more clicks your item gets, obviously the more people are looking at it and the more people who are looking at it, the more likely it is that someone's going to buy it. So I've done this before on some old board games that have not been selling very well, that were really high ranking um, and, 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 I, and I just wanted to get that capital back. So just put a, spent about a dollar or two in pay-per-click ads and was able to turn a $100 profit by selling this item. It was worth it, worth the time. So check into pay-per-click ads on items that are slow moving or even brand new items that you just listed 
that you're trying to get some momentum on because sometimes it just takes a few sales to get that item bumped up in the search rankings for Amazon for other customers to find those items. So if you've got multiple listings, that's something to look in also. Um, and you can go to Amazon.com and search in Seller Central for pay-per-click ads and you can find out more information about that. Uh, number four, and this is my favorite way to get more sales and to move slow-moving inventory, feed the beast. You might have heard the rumor that if you stop sending things to Amazon, your sales tend to slow down. And that's that's true. The sales of other... It seems like Amazon will give you a higher percentage of time in the buy box if you're continually feeding the beast, feeding Amazon more inventory. Uh, so it's not just you're getting more sales because you're sending new items to Amazon, but even that will help some of your older items that are slow, stagnant, stale, not selling, be able to you know get more buy box percentage time so if you just continue to feed the beast and not necessarily you're not feeding the beast you're not giving Amazon more of that slow moving inventory that's not what I'm talking about but just other inventory that you're finding that you're selling the more you send it to Amazon the more they'll give you buy box percentage time and then the last one is the last tip to, to move slow moving inventory make sure you're on the right sales page uh, the right product page because there are, as I'm sure you've seen and searched on Amazon before, you can be looking for something and you're like, hey, this has four different product pages. One of them's priced at $19.99, another one's priced at $24.99, another one's priced at $39.99, another one's priced at $150. Bucks. Well, which one do you think is going to get the sale? The one with the lower price. And the one with the lower price is probably going to be the one that has the best sales rank. So double check that you're even listed on the right sales page. Sometimes we'll pick a sales page of a certain item to sell on because we think that that product is it, it, it's priced higher. So I want to sell on the one that's you know priced higher. But don't do that. Always double check. Make sure you're on the right sales page. And check out Camel, 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 and Keepa for pricing and sales rank history to see what's happened in the past so you can predict the future when it comes to the sales to expect. So those are my five easy ways to get slow-moving inventory to get them sold, to get them out of here, to get money back in your pocket so that you can invest that money into faster, better selling inventory for the future. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you scroll down, you could leave a comment, like this video, leave us a question. You can also find all the links that we talked about in this video. You can find that in the description below. And be sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. We got so many more videos coming up. We don't want you to miss out on anything. And as always, the best place to find all the information of turning part-time hours into a full-time income is the website fulltimefba.com. I'll see you there.